In this video, we will learn how to use Google Meet in Google Classroom. So let's first visit our classroom. I'll click on this and I'll visit the classroom. As you can see, I've created a test class here for this uh, testing purposes. Uh, one thing important I need to mention here is that uh, this Google Meet feature is available only with the uh, Google Meet feature is available only with the educational institutional IDs. These uh, Google Meet feature is not available in your classroom if you are using your personal email ID. All right, so you need to log in with your institutional email ID to access Meet in classroom. So let's check out. So here you can see um, the meet option is available. All right, I have tested this thing. So that's why the link is available here. Otherwise, when you visit the classwork tab, this is where you can see the Google Meet link. This is the option from where you can directly start a meeting. You're, by clicking on this link, you will be directed to the same Google Meet page on which you were asked about permissions and are uh, required to start a meeting or join the meeting. So if you click on this button, you will be redirected to the Google Meet screen interface where you can join the meeting or start the meeting. All right. So we have already done this. So let's skip this step. So now uh, you can directly start the meeting. We can also schedule the meeting. All right. So how to schedule the meeting? For that, we need to enter this gear button, the settings button. Uh, this is the settings for class, uh, not the general settings. Like uh, when you click here, you will also see settings here. But I'm not talking about this. This uh, uh, Google Meet feature is available for a particular class. So when you are in a particular class, like say test, I'm in test class. So then I have to click this feature. This is for class setting. You will see the heading here, class settings. All right. So but these are the general details which we have already studied. Now here you can see in this section, general section, you can see the meet option. All right. Now here already a link is uh, visible. Otherwise, if you are using the first time, if you are going to use it first time in your classroom, then a button will appear here that will say generate a meet link. All right. So if uh, you are organizing a meeting first time, then it will show that icon to generate a meeting link. And when you click on that button, a meeting link would be generated. So when I click this button, so this meeting link has been generated already. Now this meeting link, I can copy and I can share it with my students uh, right now or later on, whenever I would like to, I can copy this link and uh, post it as an announcement or post it in a, a question or an assignment or wherever you would like to all right you can share this link and the students would join it all right let's see it uh, what are the options available here here are two options one to copy and one to reset if you want to change this link you think this is uh, this has already been used so then you can reset the link all right so you can reset the link and the link will be reset a new link will be generated so here you can see another link has been generated now one thing you see here, the option is visible to students. This button is on right now. Now, what does this do? All right, now let's say, uh, let me save this thing. So when you generate this thing, you have to save so that all the changes you have done here are saved in your settings. All right, I think that was not uh, available. So let's say save. Okay, now I have saved and I have the button uh, for visible to students was turned off. So let's see on the stream page. Now you can see this meet link and this is available here and this is a eye closed uh, symbol that shows not visible to students. So this link is not visible to students. So if I had done it visible to students that it would be visible in their streams also when they log into their own classroom accounts. So if you want to show them, then you